Hello and welcome to a, another STEM in the Box instructional video. Today we're going to just uh, check the inputs and outputs of the MBOT uh, using MBOT Scratch. So first thing is you need to have the MBOT uh, plugged in and you need to have the MBOT turned on. I would strongly encourage you to put a new firmware into the MBOT. Before we do that, we just need to tell MBOT Scratch that we are using the MBOT. So go to Boards and then MBOT. Then go to Connect uh, Serial Port um, COM5, and I've already connected that because it's got the tick. And now we're going to upgrade the firmware. And this is the MakeBlock firmware, of course. It's not um, stem in the box firmware. Great, so close that. So now what we're going to do is in tethered mode, uh, we are going to check the uh, functioning of all of the inputs and outputs. So first thing is we are going to need a couple of variables to check the light sensor and the ultrasonic sensor. So we go to data and blocks, make a variable, and let's call it, um, there's only one light sensor on this one, uh, so we'll call it light sensor and there's only one ultrasonic sensor we'll call so we'll call it ultrasonic sensor okay great so then we need to drag across two of those the set blocks and we can set the first one to light sensor and the second one to ultrasonic sensor excellent so now what we need to do is go into the robot uh, tabs and we need to go and read the light sensor. So there's a couple of different ones in here, but the one that uh, you should have if you've got our robot would be the visible light sensor, which is, you need to use this block down here. So we're gonna drop that into there. Now it's not the one that's on board. Um, it's, well, you select whatever port you've selected, but if you're following one of our pinout planners, then it should be on port four. Okay, um, now the ultrasonic sensor, you need to go and get the ultrasonic sensor block, and it should be in port three. So you should have, well, ours are in connected to port three. Excellent. So what we're going to also do is go to control, and we're going to pop a forever loop around that. And I'm also just going to slow it down a little bit, put a delay in there so that it um, doesn't cycle so quickly. All right, now to get that going in tethered mode, all I need to do is click on the forever block and it goes glowy, it's got a yellowish halo around it. So now we can see the light sensor is reading up here, you can see the light sensor is reading 285 and the ultrasonic about 28 or so. So now what we're going to do is um, just check those. So we put something black under the light sensor, it's gone all the way down to 15, so that's good. And if my hand in front of it, it dropped all the way down to two or three, so that's good. Excellent. So that's the only inputs. So we can unclick that and we can drag those uh, out of the way. Now let's test the outputs. So if we go to robots, let's just te test the screen firstly. So show face. Now, well, we have the screen connected to port one. And let's put the, let's put Bob on it. So we'll send the command Bob and we can see Bob Excellent. Um, and stop. And you can't see the O and the P. We'll show you in a different video how to put that in a loop so that it scrolls. And that's what the start position of the X and the Y is here. So we'll just leave that at high for now. Great. So the LED matrix is working. So let's go and test the um, let's go and test the wheels. So I'll put something underneath the robot. Uh, 
that that way the robot doesn't take off so I'll move that out of the way so let's go and get um, the motor blocks which are up the top so two types of motor blocks either the differential drive or these simple ones so let's get the motors to go forward and they're both going forward backwards backwards and stop is zero excellent now if you want to do the differential drive m1 is on the left m2 is on the right so go forward would be 255 for both of them left hand turn would be tight left hand turn would be make the left one backwards good excellent okay so that's all working perfectly make that stop now um, this little robot here doesn't have any claws on it but if you did have claws then you would have to use the set servo block here according to our pinout planner use two of them um, set servo for the left hand and the right hand claw same as that okay so that concludes uh, the video the robot is working 100% um, fine okay the uh, light sensor was giving positive values um, correct values for black and uh, white the ultrasonic sensor was working and reading in centimeters um, the motors were left and right motors were functioning correctly and the LED matrix was uh, functioning correctly so we've just done a quick uh, test of MBOT in MBOT Scratch in tethered mode. Thanks very much for watching.